feel like he set up obstacles for him. You go here. Oh, <laughs> you go there. <laughs> oh man. So we had a lot of people ask questions about their uh, their dog bowls, what the design is about, and I, I answered them. But in case you don't know, it's to slow them down. Because otherwise... They'd be done by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they eat so fast. And then Buzz starts like a panic attack and starts wheezing. Yeah, so... If you need your dogs to slow down, they sell these on Amazon. Brady! What are you doing? <laughs> I love food. One thing I like is watching their ears when they eat. They're so cute and floppy. <laughs> they have those little floppy ears. They just get so happy when they eat. <laughs> just like me. It's, yeah, it's what, like, 55 degrees? You guys, it's cold in Texas. <laughs> we finally got some fall weather. I love you. In the air over there. <laughs> bye bye. I love you. <laughs> bye. With me forever. It's the morning puppy party. Morning puppy party! Oh, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh. Ow. Good morning, kitty. Trick or treat. Hi. Good morning. Come on in. There's dogs everywhere, but come on in. Back. She saw them and she was like, nope. Look at the beetle going towards the kitty. Watch out, kitty. The little beetle go. Go, little kid, go! He's so funny. Just the initial cut right here. That's what practice is for. Well, but then I go back and clean it up. Just work my way in. Don't need to fix that. This whole section. Right. Oh, that's really great. It's beautiful. It rained this morning, and now it's lovely. I wanted to. Oh, well, it also rained. It rained, and then he had a ton of work to do yesterday. Um, Still not done. Did about a third of it. Because the, this week, right, it's official? It's official now. So the switch... Well, that I know of. Technically, I don't know yet. The switch with his business officially happened this week. Yeah. Um, the old owner is now done and the new owner is in so there's going to be a lot of uncertainty and changes but apparently his job is secure for <laughs> at least six months. <laughs> there was some <laughs> random comment the guy said he's like uh, you're invaluable to us something something um, oh yeah don't break your leg at least for the next six months and I was like oh just the next six months. Huh? <laughs> I, my thing is that he's going to train everybody and they're going to be like okay you're good and then kick him out. Let's hope that doesn't happen. So today is Sunday and we're going to go spend the day with uh, my mom. We're putting the dogs in the house right now. My mom's got some errands to run so she asked if we wanted to go with her. So I thought that... What's he doing? Hey! Hey! Get away from that cat food! She's Louise. So I thought that uh, I could introduce you guys to my mom. She's been in a few videos before I think before the channel was RV video but my parents live they live about 20 minutes from here which is really nice because we get to see them a lot but my mom is awesome she is definitely where I get my happy and positive attitude <laughs> and then my dad is where I get the more serious um, perfectionist side of me so yeah we're gonna go do some stuff with my mom so I thought that we could bring you guys along and just show you all the day like we're not doing a whole lot of exciting stuff, but I like vlogs, like doing 
random daily vlogs because that's what I like to watch. I like to watch other people's lives. It's weird. Social media is weird, but it's amazing because we've connected with so many of you guys and gotten to know so many people that we otherwise would never have known. So let's go ahead and we're going to go pick up my mom. We'll see you guys very soon. <laughs> Barry! Go, Barry, go! Go, Barry, go! Barry, go! Come on, Barry! Come on. <laughs> it's like a little cotton ball. Outside and oh, and Barry! I know, I know. I want you to take off to the door. <laughs> right, oh my leash. god! Okay, let's go. He, he, me on the he grabbed the leash. So I'm going to introduce you guys to the vlog. Don't come in, I don't need vlog. I'm talking about stuff. These are my parents. You can't even see your face because you're behind the light. <laughs> That's my mom. There you go. That's my dad. <laughs> you want to guess what I got? Um, a vente. Vente something. You got that right. Yeah. What is it? It's a Swiss mocha chocolate chiller. <laughs> Chocolate yeah, or whatever. It's a, it's a venti iced soy decaf latte with sugar free cinnamon dolce syrup. My head's gonna explode. <laughs> she pulls me up to Sonic, wants me to order something like that, and I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I'll make her lean that's, over and order it. That's yeah, just for him. <laughs> Both of them. That'd be cool to hang from the tree. The fingers are gone. <laughs> Man. The fingers are gone. <laughs> when you pick it up. My favorite part. Brown candy. <laughs> photo shoot and for my costume, my Halloween costume. It, it's weird. I don't know how I feel yet, but so we went to the Halloween store with my dad. Decided to get a Wonder Woman wig. Um, it was pretty funny because I put it on. I was testing. I, I was trying it out because they don't do returns, so I wanted to make sure that I was okay with it when I put it on. I had no thoughts. <laughs> There's just a lot of confusion. <laughs> I seriously put it on. He was just like, like, what do you think? It's like, uh, and the girl, the cash register, the girl at the cash register, she's like, oh, it looks good. It looks like, um, the old Wonder Woman. And, um, but then he's still like, uh, <laughs> I told my family that I felt like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen E.T., which I'm pretty sure most people have. The scene where they dress up E.T. like a girl, that's how I felt. <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to wear it, but it's going to look good with the tiara. It's just different. You know, I haven't had long hair in years and then going from this and then putting on a long brown dark wig is a little weird. I think it's going to be cool because we are also, fingers crossed, we're going to be going to Comic Con next weekend. To wear it and I'm going to be full on Wonder Woman. It's going to be great. So I don't know if we showed you guys Matt's costume. Basically going to be... Like steampunk era. Cool vest. There. And he's gonna wear those pants, those boots, and sweet hat. And then we I ordered a shirt that goes with it, so it didn't go with Wonder Woman, but it doesn't have to. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. You can figure that out. That's his costume. So he's steampunk guy. <laughs> steampunk Matt. Steampunk guy. More like steamy. <laughs> steamy punk. <laughs> Alright guys, I thought we could close out today's video um, with just like a little 
memory share. I could share some of our favorite Halloween memories because I love the holiday season. I love just everything that starts with Halloween. Sorry about the lighting. It's very, very bright. The Halloween season starts and then we've got Thanksgiving and then Christmas. I, and Christmas is just something else for me. So, what's one of your favorite Halloween memories, Matt? So it's a whole time period almost. I kind of condense it to one time. It was, uh, I dressed up as a ninja. Obviously this was just last year. <laughs> Now, this is like whenever I was in elementary school, because I mean, that, that's most of my memories. Way back when, candy apples and all that stuff. And that's exactly what it is. It's just, I, we always dressed up, walked down to like a nursing home, and we did like this, like, I don't know, singing thing. Did y'all really? Yeah. I and didn't so know that. We would do that, and then we would come back, and then we would like trick or treat around the school and stuff. And then. Of course, that same night we would have our fall festival at, at the school, bobbing for apples. And mm -hmm. We'd make candy apples. And it was just a whole like, and also my mom worked there at the school, so I got to hang out with her the whole time. And uh, yeah, but then just the whole feeling of it, and then just coming back home and trick or treating down San Antonio Street, which is actually the street that I work right next to now. So it's just neat. I don't know. Well, yeah, I saw awesome. remnants of it. Yeah. So that's mine. Do you not have one, Blair? <laughs> um, Is that why you're, you're stalling? Yes, I'm stalling. Mine, I would say more so, kind of like his, it's it's like the the, the timeline, just the childhood. And I, th I think that's how most people are with holiday memories and things like this. I just, and this is something that we still kind of carry on to this day, our tradition of Halloween. Um, growing up, I'm the youngest of four siblings, and so we would always most of us would go trick-or-treating. My older sisters grew out of it fast, but we'd go trick-or-treating and then we would come back to my my house and a lot of time it was like some of our friends and my mom would make uh, homemade potato soup, she'd have cornbread, and we would just eat dinner and just hang out and then pass out candy to trick-or-treaters. Whenever I was younger, I had a good friend that lived down the street and there was one year, and my mom would probably remember this, I need to ask her. There was one year he had a really scary mask, I can't remember what it was, and he wore that with just like a black cloak and we were, we were like 10 or 12. We put a leash on him and we would open the door. <laughs> We would open the door and he would like go to attack him. My mom was passing out candy and I would like hold him back and we made some little kids cry and it was awesome. <laughs> it's almost up there with my story, like singing to the elderly and then <laughs> making children cry. Yeah, your your story is way better than mine, but it's just the feeling. But this year we're actually going to be, be doing that. My mom's making potato soup. Matt and I are going over there. They have a really busy neighborhood with lots and lots of trick-or-treaters. My nephew's going to be there. My sister her boyfriend, and then I'm not sure about my other sister and my little baby niece, but hopefully they'll come over too. And she's gonna make potato soup and just, it's gonna be awesome. So we still- You mentioned soup once. Did I? Yeah, but that's how much soup we're gonna I'm have. Really, I'm really excited about the potato soup, it's really good. So that's what we're gonna do, and I'm really excited about it, but I, I also wanted to open it up to you guys because I love hearing about your memories. So I wanna know what some of you guys, your favorite, Halloween memories are. Leave those in the comments, but we're gonna go ahead and close out today's vlog and it's a little bit late, but I'm still getting it up. I'm trying to stick with the Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploading theme, but um, that's gonna be it for us. So look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. We'll see you on Wednesday. Have fun out there.